Hello friends, welcome to the first tutorial in 2022, yay! In today's video, we'll be making this very beautiful turban. I'm sure you guys like what you see. Don't worry, this video is to teach you how you can make this for yourself or for your client or for your child, okay? So if that sounds like something you want to know all about, please be sure to watch this video to the end. Subscribe to my channel, guys. Please, 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 let's grow this family bigger than it is already, okay? Subscribe, like this video if at the end of the day you enjoyed watching, which I'm sure you would. So you can as well just go ahead and like the video right now. Also, share with your friends that are creatives or people that love to sew at home. They will find this tutorial really, really useful. Also, I need one more favor, okay? I'm coming with a lot of demands in this 2022, so you guys should just please bear with me, okay? It's all love on here. Please, please, please do well to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Those are my new platforms that I'm trying to grow, okay? They are not so new, but I'm trying to put more energy into growing them this year. So please do well to follow me on those platforms. I'm going to link them on the screen. And yeah, guys, we can now get into today's tutorial. Let's go. All right, guys. So these are the items you would need for making this turban. You need your fabric of choice. For me, I'm using this glittery poly fabric it has a stretch to it i'm also going to need my scissors of course my pins for pinning my fabric in place this is my new fancy tape rule that i got this retractable tape rule it's just a tape rule okay i also have this my box of pins and needles and threads and all of that and i also need my ruler all right guys so i have my fabric cut out already and what i have here are two pieces of fabric that are like this i'm going to put the dimension of each of these fabrics that i'm showing you on the screen just so you know, these are two pieces of fabric. They are about 24 inches by 15 inches. And 24 inches is my head circumference. Please put whatever your head circumference is as your dimension. So you want the width of your fabric to be your head circumference and then the length now to be 15 inches or more or less, depending on you. For me, I feel like 15 inches is a comfortable spot to be in. So I'm going to move this aside. What I have here, is what is going to serve as the band of my turban and this band is about four and a half inches by 24 inches and then i'm going to move this aside what i have here is a little loop and this loop is about seven inches by five inches i feel like that's a comfortable spot to be i think it's actually about eight inches by five inches so what i'm going to do first of all and then sorry <laughs> i have one other piece of fabric here this fabric is about 24 inches by 16 inches you guys will see how this particular fabric comes into play in this tutorial. So I'm going to start off with these two little pieces of fabric. So the one that is serving as my loop as well as my band for my turban. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these two pieces of fabric to my overlocker and then run my overlocker over these two edges. You can use your sewing machine if that's what you want to use. But because I want this turban to be stretchy, I found that using overlockers on fabrics keeps the stretch of your fabric. It doesn't prevent your fabric from stretching. So that's another tip right there, just in case you have an overlocker. So I'm going to run my overlocker over these two sides and then I'll be back to show us the next step in this tutorial. So this is the loop. I hope it's focusing. Okay, yeah. So this is the loop, right? And this is the band. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set my loop aside. I've not turned it inside out yet, but I'll go ahead and turn my band now and turn it inside out. You guys know that I like to use screwdriver to turn fabric inside out. I'm trying out a different style of filming my tutorials for you guys. Let me know which one you prefer. Do you prefer me talking real time or do you prefer me doing my voiceovers? Let me know down in the comment section. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn this inside out real quick with my screwdriver. Okay, after turning this inside out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. Remember these two pieces of fabric I spoke about earlier? Exactly. So I'm going to place it down, right? Let me zoom out a little bit for you guys, okay? So that is it there. Then I'm going to place this on it right basically like sandwiching sandwiching the fabric in between each other like so actually i made a mistake with this band i should have um i should have used my 
overlock on it, wrong side facing each other. But when to do it, right side facing each other. So that's why I'm having this little challenge here. But not to worry, I'll just adjust it and then sandwich accordingly. But when you are doing your own, please make sure that you stitch or you use your overlocker when your fabric is wrong side facing each other. Basically, you want the right side to be out and then sandwich and then, I mean, run your sewing machine on it. So this is what I have here. I'm basically just going to pin this together really, really quickly. And then, um, I think I've done this on my channel before. I'm going to link a video on the screen that you might not want to watch. You would love to watch actually, because it's going to be very useful to you. So I'm going to just do this real quick, right? And then I'll come back to talk to you guys. All right, my beauties. So what I have here is, I went ahead to make adjustments and then I did my fabric the proper way. Like I said earlier, when um, cutting your band, make sure that you fold it wrong sides facing each other, sandwich it and then put the, this other fabric, put one underneath, one um, on top, right sides facing each other and then go ahead to overlock the edge or sew the edge, whichever one works for you. So that's exactly what I went to do now. I used my overlocker over the internal part. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to actually overlock everywhere and then leave a little space here. Let me move my fabric down. So we leave a little space for turning the fabric inside out. Basically just, this is us just doing uh, a basic turban cap. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to overlock all the way around like this. And then I'll come back to show you guys what it looks like after I'm done doing that. All right, my friends. So I already went ahead to, to basically overlock the entire edge of the inner part. And then I left some space, like I mentioned earlier. I left this little space here. So that's where I'm going to go ahead and then turn my fabric inside out real quick, like so. Because of the nature of this fabric, turning it inside out is pretty easy and for this um, particular style of turban feel free to use any type of fabric that you choose for me i've decided to use this um, type of fabric basically so after turning it inside out what we are going to do now is just set this aside we are going to come back to it and you'll see what i mean so the next thing we want to do now is to tackle this other piece that i spoke about so this piece is 24 inches by about 16 inches. So what you're going to do now is just sew, pinch a little, right? The way I'm pinching right now, pinch a little, sew it, pinch another one, pinch another one, pinch another one, pinch another one, pinch all the way through and sew on this fabric. I want it to have like a, I don't know what to call it now. Is it pleated effect? It's not pleats, but you, you guys will see the finished result. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave mark like one one inch all over this fabric and then start to wherever that line is i'll pinch ball first of all let me go ahead and mark my one one inch all over and I'll... all right guys so this is what i have here i don't know if you guys can see the lines that i marked so like i was saying i'll just pick this line now just so a very little stitch pick this other line so pick another line so and then sew until I get to the end of this piece of fabric. I won't be able to bring you guys along with me because I just feel like that part will be unnecessary in this particular video. But if you have any questions on the process, please feel free to drop it in the comment section. So what I'm going to do now is move ahead to my sewing machine, carry out the stitches I just spoke about now, and then I'll be back to continue this video with you guys. If you've been enjoying the video so far, please be sure to hit the like button so I know that you found value from watching this video. All right, guys, I'll be back. All right, fam, so this is what I have now. I already did the thing I said I was going to do. So what I'm going to do now is fold this. Uh, I think, okay, right sides facing each other. And then I'm going to run my serger. Oh, I said serger. I'm going to run my overlocker over the end just to close it up and then we will now move on to the main piece. I'll be right back. So this is what I have now. My piece. I already went ahead to use my 
overlocker to just cover up all the open spaces that I have going on. So what I'm going to do now is just fold this into two, right? Like so. If the way you place your fabric, you have one part that is the wrong side, just fold your fabric such that at the end of the day, when you turn the fabric inside out, what you have is the right side sitting on your client's head or your own. So what I'm going to do now is just sew all the way, right? Up until this point. And when I get here, I'm going to leave about one inch or one and a half inch space here. So that's where that our loop that we worked on. You remember this loop? Hope we've not forgotten. Yeah, this loop is going to pass through that place. So what I'm going to do now is go to my sewing machine this time run a stitch like like one inch stitch run it and then go from this point all the way to this point just to kind of get our cap so i'm going to go ahead and do that now and then be back lest i forget before we go back to our sewing machine we have to place this piece so remember this piece that we turned inside out this one that we worked on you place it just above this um band that we have going on here place it here and then now fold before you go ahead to sew. We want that place to also be part of this piece that we are working on. So place it just above the band and then fold it over and then sew all the way up onto this point that I mentioned. I forgot to mention it earlier on. All right, friends. So this is what we have here. Um, I already went ahead to basically sew, like I mentioned earlier. So now I'm going to do my gathered stitches from here to here just to gather up this point. That part is pretty self-explanatory, but I'm just going to do it on camera so you guys can see for yourselves. This is what we have here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to secure my thread here. So before I snip my thread, I'll turn the turban inside out just to check that everything looks good. So this is what we have here. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this my loop inside out. And then pass it through this space. Remember the space that we left. So wherever the joining is, you first of all make sure that it's upwards. So I'm going to go ahead now to sew this part, sew it together. And then once I'm done sewing, I'll flip it over. But let me first of all go ahead and sew this part. All right, friends. So I went ahead to use my overlocker to basically sew up that um, joining of this loop. And what I'm doing here is I'm adjusting the loop such that the joining is in the interior of the turban. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you didn't take note of the instructional materials, the texts that I put in this video, please make sure that you rewatch the video and take note of those instructions because it will really come in handy. I found that there were some things I could have done better while making this turban and I don't want you guys to repeat those um, errors that I made. Anyway, this is the finished look. It still looks absolutely beautiful and this will be perfect for you or your child or a client. This, this particular design just looks absolutely stunning. I'm sure you guys have seen this video already on TikTok. If you're following me on TikTok, I'm sure you've seen it already. This is a tutorial. If you're not following me, I'm going to leave my handles to my other social media platforms, my Instagram and my TikTok. Those are my major platforms. So please do well to follow me on there. Subscribe if you're yet to subscribe to my channel. Also share this video with your friend and like the video. And yeah, guys, I can't wait to see you in another one. Bye.